<laughs> Yo guys, what is up? This is Scumless from Mini Docs coming back at you again with another Discord.py episode. Today it's episode 26. Yes, I'm using episode 25, but, but whatever, we didn't change much. And today we're going to be going over emojis and how to use them. How to make a command to show some cute, sexy information about them. Anyway, let's dive in, let's get to it. We're going to make a command. We're going to call it emoji info. It's a bit of a double up, but hey, it works. I'm going to set some aliases just to EI, just for testing purposes. It's going to make it really nice, really simple for me to use. I'm going to go ASIC def emoji underscore info. We're going to take self, we're going to take CTX, and believe it or not, we're going to take an emoji. Uh, we're going to type in that to discord.emoji so that we can get that object. And then we're just going to also set that to none, not next. Love you, Pi Charm, but not always. And then we're just going to go ahead and go, look, if they haven't given me an emoji, we're just going to go ahead, we're going to do what we did with our reaction rules, and we're going to invoke the help command for this command, so that the user can hopefully figure out what they've done wrong. So we're going to go ctx.invoke, and then we're going to go self.bot.get underscore command, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to call it help, and then we're just going to go ahead and go entity, in e equals to emoji info because that's our command name and so basically we're also just going to return here that way i don't have to worry about it and so basically what we're going to do here is rather than uh you know removing this and then having your error handler go hey this is a required argument here uh we're going to do that intuitively in the command itself uh it's quite nice i'll go ahead i'll show you it right now wait for that to log in and we can just go ei it's in the game Look at that. It tells us what we need. <laughs> Easy peasy. Let's get back into it. Let's finish this command off. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to go try L. Yes, I'm taking the L. Thank you very much. But we're going to go emoji is equal to emoji. Oh, this is an await call. We're fetching it. Dot guild dot fetch underscore emoji. And then guess what we're going to do here? Emoji dot ID. Now you might be wondering, why are we fetching the emoji, Ethan? We've just type hinted it to discord.emoji. Well, the type hint works, but it's also querying against like the local cache. Uh, and we want to fetch the emoji so that we can get the user that created the emoji that added it to the guild so that we can display some sex information about them as well. So that's why we're fetching it. Otherwise, it is none. And you're required to call fetch underscore emoji on that emoji's ID in order to get that information. Anyway, if that fails, uh, we can just go ahead and catch discord dot not found and then we can just go ahead and go return await ctx dot send I could not find this emoji in the get with girls now you might be wondering why well, we've already typed into it to this surely it works well yes it should but emoji.guild might be invalid for various reasons. It might just fail to fetch it because of the state changes between it being dispatched and you actually calling this fetch. But anyway, we're just going to catch that just in case. You can change the error message to possibly, hey, I was unable to query for this emoji. Uh, but it's really just saving ourselves if you do run into an issue. Uh, but it shouldn't happen. Anyway, we're going to be setting up five fields here so that I don't have to do it in our embed. The first of which is going to be is underscore managed. And this is going to tell us if the role, sorry, the emoji is managed or not. So this just means like, you know, sort of outside management versus, you know, you just put it in yourself. Basically think of like a bot using it, you know, sort of how you have a managed role. Um, if you add a bot uh, and it comes with perms, um, that's then managed by that bot's integration. So you can't change that. So this is just going to be yes, if emoji dot, believe it or not, managed else we're just going to say no and then we're going to do that again oh would you look at that i wasn't aware i had origin open let's just go ahead let's just close that really quickly <laughs> anyway sorry I, I didn't realize that would pop up and then we're going to go is underscore animated is equal to yes if believe it or not emoji dot animated else it can just be equal to no and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to set requires underscore cold and this is also going to be believe it or not yes if emoji dot requires underscore cold else 
No. You might be seeing a bit of a pattern here, but basically I just don't want to be doing these ternary things within the actual, uh, you know, F string. Uh, I should just keep it nice and uh, simple. We're also going to be using the creation time to show when it was created. This is not a yes, no. No, not quite. We're going to actually do an emoji dot created underscore app, and then we're going to call strift time on that. So S D R F T I M E, and then we can give it the format we want. That is not the format I want. That is just me randomly tapping my keyboard. Now I'll put a link in these uh, in the description if I remember. Otherwise, feel free to ping me in the mini docs Discord. Um, but this is going to be the code for the big hour. So uh, if it's uh, 9.30, uh, this is the 9. And then I said 9.30, right? So I want that 30 in there as well, which is what this is for. And then 9.30 p.m. or a.m. And that's where the small p comes in, which will give you a.m. or p.m. Now, I do believe this is the date. So... 9.30 a.m. on May the 26th, say. So we're going to go put a D there, and that will give us the date. And then we're just going to go ahead and put the year in as well. So that'll be like 9.30 a.m. May 26th, uh, 2015, something like that. And then I also just want to use can underscore use underscore emoji. So we're going to figure out who can use the emoji because, you know, sometimes you don't have uh, emoji perms. Other times it's just everyone. So we're just going to go everyone, believe it or not, if not emoji dot roles. Else we can go ahead and we can we'll dot join on the string. So we're going to be joining it uh, with spaces in between. And then we're going to go role dot name for role and emoji dot roles. You might be wondering why I'm not mentioning these. Well, you can call this from outside of the guild, so it'll just show up as the IDs, uh, which isn't very helpful in my opinion. Anyway, we're up to the core step now, and that is formatting our embed. Oh. Anyway, let's go ahead, description, because I'm putting it in the description so I can do some stuff. It's going to be equal to an F string, and it's going to be a doc string, which allows us to do multi-line things like this, uh, without having to make them actual multi-lined it's the general and we're just going to go it's a nice oh i removed the r would you look at that and then there's just some general facts so we're just going to go here and we're going to go bam bam this is going to be a format for what i'm going to be doing here so you might notice something that's going to happen here but we're just going to do this and then we're going to go here and we're going to go emoji dot name hit control d on our keyboard if you're using PyCharm, which will copy the line and then we can go ahead and I'm just going to change this to ID. And then this goes to ID as well. And then we just go control D. <clears throat> Look at that. It is super simple. URL. And this is actually just going to be a link to how you can view the uh, image of the emoji. And so we're going to use some, you know, sort of markdown y type things here. So we just put in the square brackets is the text that will show up. And then in the, the circular brackets or parentheses is the url to go to when they click on this text it's quite nice it's a nice feature which is why i'm also using the description and it saves having to set the embed url to the link anyway i actually want to go Control d again and then we're going to go author and this is why we fetched the emoji earlier on sorry this needs to be in a uh bracket here so that it works and then author is going to be emoji dot user dot mention. Now, this might pop up, you know, if you're in a different server or a server, um, you just see the ID. You can just change this to like display underscore name. Quite nice, but this works most of the time, which is why I'm doing that instead. And then we're going to jump into our time created field, which is the first of these five up here. Wow, special. Anyway, and then we just got another one, and then this is just going to be usable. Fine. And then remove that. And then we can just go can underscore use underscore emoji. And then boom, look at that. That's our general category. Done. Dusted. Boom. Clap. Easy. Anyway, let's jump on. Let's go into other. Let's go bam, bam, bam. 
I could have copied the format above, which is literally what I'm doing. But, you know, I'll write it out a bit. And then we're just going to go is underscore animated. And then we're going to go is underscore managed. Managed. My brain uh, failed me right there. We'll go requires prolongs. You guys want to take a guess at what this is? Then we just copy that because we've got two more to go. And this one's going to be guild name. So this is the name of the guild that it's in. Type of thing. Um, name. So basically this is what, what guild uh, is this emoji actually in. Because you can call this from different guilds, you know. Which is why we're fetching it from the guild rather than from CTX guild. That's why you're using the guild attached to the emoji, not the guild attached to the command. Anyway, we've got one more to go here. And then emoji.guild.id. Now, you might be wondering, what am I doing with this? Well, I said earlier, right? I'm making an embed. So discord.embed. Open that bad boy up. The title. Yes, we are using a title, despite what I said earlier on. It's going to be emoji. Information. For. Boom. 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 And we are put these bad boys here. Open this up and go emoji. Dot name. And we're done. Not white. We're going to set the description equal to description. And I want a nice color. So we're going to go ahead and go OX ADD 8 E 6. Pause the video and take a guess at that color. Or Google it. Or, you know, don't pause the video and just wait for five seconds until I run the command. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and set the thumbnail to the emoji as well. Now, it's kind of counterintuitive, right? Because we've already got a link to the emoji. But hey, you know, we've got the image here and we've also got a link to it so they can view it without having to leave Discord. But that's all for now. So we're going to go await ctx.send. Uh, embed equals embed. And then we're going to go, we're going to go start the bot. We're going to go EI. And then what are we going to do? We can do eyes if we want, but that's going to fail. Why is it going to fail? Because it's not a custom emoji for our guild. And if that's, that's a good point. Uh, because we're no longer accepting strings, it has to be a custom emoji. If someone puts it in and you want to handle this, uh, you can either make this a union and take a string and then just tell them in the command, or you can just add this to your error handler. So you can just add to the error handler, error handler emoji, dot, uh, emoji not found. And then you can be like, hey, look, that emoji's not found. Um, were you using a custom emoji? Anyway, let's dive back into it. Let's use some of the custom emojis from down here. I like the look of this one. And then we're going to go EI. It didn't work. What's gone wrong here? On command here. Emoji object has no attribute requires underscore columns. Ah, see, I put the S on both of them, but what it really wants is require underscore, not requires underscore colons, just require colons. Anyway, that's perks of reading the docs, guys, and I don't have them up on my other monitor at the moment, so there's that for you. Anyway, that should be working. Now look at that. This is by chance, if you don't believe it, called menu docs, which is why this pops up. We can see the name is menu docs. The ID is menu docs. The link to the emoji. It open on a different tab. But look, there you go that. There's your emoji link. And then you've got the author. So, oh, look at that man with all those roles. The Connor is the man that made this. And then it was created um, at 12.41 a.m. January the 8th, 2021. Oh, he added this. Not long ago. That's like a month ago usable by everyone it's not animated not managed it does require colons which by colons it just means you've got to do that and then put the emoji name in between it belongs to mini docs headquarters and the guild id is this now i'd love to show you from another guild but unfortunately i don't have like discord nitro and all of that so it just sort of moans at me and i don't really want to blow your screen out with the whole discord nitro purchase it um so you'll just have to take my word for that Anyway, we're going to do slider right while we're at it. Let's just check out another one. Look at that, slider right. We can see that it's named it all. It was added... Damn, what's that, like... 10 months ago? Anyway, that's that. It was added by 2D, actually, rather than Connor. 
So only four rolls there versus, you know, the 14 billion rolls. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's all for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, keep coding and enjoy your day. Peace out.